Oh, it's been a while. Uh, I just lost the whole thing. I've uh, been on oxygen since September 2017 after I got back from the Philippines. Uh, turned out I had a blood clot or blood clots. I had several of them throughout my lungs. One large one fairly near to my heart. And uh, they put me on heparin right away, dissolved the clots, and all was supposed to be good. Well, I wasn't breathing any better. In fact, I, my breathing seemed to be worse than what it was. So they did some more testing, uh, x-rays, MRIs, CAT scans or whatever. They do ultrasounds and stuff. They've done several different ones. And they've done breathing tests. <clears throat> I, uh, turns out I have some kind of a lung problem. I ask them what it is and they don't know. Uh, the young lady doctor that takes care of me is younger than my own daughter and she keeps telling me, I don't know, I don't know. Well, study your book some more or something. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I have been keeping busy at work. Uh, I, I do 40 hours or more a week. And I can do, I can do my, what do I want to say, my hobbies, sort of. Uh, I just got to watch my exertion rate. I have to watch how much oxygen I use. They cut me on a oxygen cylinder, not an oxygen machine. At home I'm on an oxygen machine. It can go from zero up to five liters. This goes up to four liters. Or is it five? I don't know. But I I usually hang out around two to two and a half unless I am doing physical activity more than just walking across the room. Uh, right now I'm at work. I've Whoa! Off balance table. I leaned on a little too much at the edge. Um, I'm doing pretty good on two and a half, two liters, two and a half liters. I don't seem to have a problem. My other problem is. My legs aren't working as well as they should. My muscles are not strong anymore in my legs. I have tried to get out and walk and it hurts more to do that than anything else. I have uh, diabetic neuropathy in my feet and legs. and. The more I seem to walk, the more, the more they go away. Uh, they don't want to work. 
but this past few months, couple of months, I don't remember. It was August, I think. I picked up my my new vehicle, uh, it's a Dodge Caravan, 1998, and it's running pretty good. I've had to do the brakes, the uh, rear, rear shocks. I need to do the front struts. Uh, my brother's been working on a Ford Escort. He's a double amputee in his legs. And he's been working on putting together a 94 Mer uh, Ford Escort uh, coupe. Uh, I personally think he could do get a better car than that. But he doesn't doesn't seem to want to do that or can't seem to get that. Uh, he'll need hand controls for brake and gas. And so security doesn't want to pay that because they think he should have a five year or newer car and less than 50,000 miles. You're not really going to find a car like that. Unless it's a new car. And you can't afford a new car. I've been trying to help him. Uh, what it is, he's the one that he bought. It's engine blue. So he, he got a junkyard car to take parts off of from a friend. And it does run and drive, just not well, and it definitely don't stop. Uh, luckily, it had parking brakes because I had to move it around. Of course, we made sure the parking brake worked because we knew it didn't have hydraulic brakes. But uh, we got it turned around and put into the slot. He, where he needed it. Uh, I built a wheelchair ramp for my van so we could get his electric wheelchair in and out. And it works okay except for like when you get into the van there's no flat spot for it. Uh, so I have ordered a couple of, not a couple, I have ordered a folding aluminum ramp for designed for wheelchairs to put into that van so I can run it from the ground, wheelchair from the ground up into the van. And there he is, load him into the seat or let him climb up into the seat in the drive, passenger seat and then I can operate the wheelchair by standing on, alongside of it and roll it up in. Uh, Taz is doing good in June he'll be 19. Will you come over to see me? Yeah, get up here. Let the people see you. Get up. 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 Up here. Come on. He's coming up slowly. Okay, now try. Anyway. Uh, I'm trying to, yeah, it's good enough, I guess. Still not right. 
this is my old camera. I bought a Best Tacker camera, uh, 8750 on eBay. I started to make a video, it quit running. I swapped batteries, thinking it must be a bad battery or low charge. That didn't help. Uh, so I tried different things and nothing worked. Sent it back. Got a new one. And again, I started to make a video and it quit. Same exact problem. So I sent it back and again it failed when I got the new one. The Consensus is factory defect or something, and they don't want to send me a new one. They refunded my money. So, uh, I bought a new one of these. That the best stacker had a boom camera. And then I bought a, a a remote microphone thing, POW or something like that. But being that the camera didn't work, I couldn't really tell if that microphone worked. I still got the microphone, but it does not work for this camera. So. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, while I was working on my van, I did not make videos because my cameras didn't work. And this old one, I I didn't think about it. It had been tucked away in my luggage from the Philippines. And I went did a little house cleaning. I found it. I also found the black one, which is better than this one, except for when I was in the Philippines, we had what I call a rumble strip approaching a busy intersection. They cut grooves into the pavement, into the asphalt. And riding a tricycle, holding the camera while we were going, uh, we hit that. And I didn't realize we were going to hit it. Yard camera, a shaky cam, mega shaky cam. And the camera quit working and it never worked since. I assume it shook the motherboard or whatever to narrow apart. I'm going to attempt to tear that camera apart and see if I can fix it. Maybe it was just a solder connection. That cracked or broke. My tad is whining. We uh, we're going to try to post this uh, if the time date stamp comes up. Ignore it. They're wrong. Anyways, it's been 14 minutes. I'm still kicking. I answer or respond on several comments. I've been watching over 115 of you guys. Uh, so I'm, what I do is I go through, post your pictures on watch later, and I just click watch later and watch them in order that I put them there. And then I'll go back and do it over again.
That's one thing about working here. We're allowed to watch social media and do Google searches and all that stuff while we're at work, provided we answer the phone, respond to the tenants that need responded to. Uh, take care of our rounds. We can watch the internet well, internet while we sit here. Okay, I'm going to get off here. It's been over 15 minutes, almost 16. I'll talk to y'all later. Well, please subscribe, click the bell, and give me a thumbs up.